Alright, so four new characters to be added to the tier list, both PvP and PvE. Let's uh let's talk about it. So four <laughs> Oh my god, Hawk and Oslo. I actually forgot I almost didn't put him in here. Because I genuinely forgot that they, they released. And how how long was it? Like a month ago? Less that they came out? Already forgot. They are terrible. They're just awful. It's I'm not even gonna bother talking. Just awful. Just <laughs> you know what? I will talk. You know, Hawk and Oslo were they could have they could have done something. You know, increase all allies defense by 50 percent is a good number. Problem is there's already sixty percent ded dedicated type defense increasers, and who is he really increasing? Well, wh what's this for? Exactly, nothing. There's no meta character this is good for. So, oh, what about now for me? Come on. There's no meta character this is actually good for. Therefore, completely pointless. And that's it. If there is a meta character that can be buffed by Hawk and Oslo in the actually usable manner, not like, okay. He is like, let's say a new Meliodas comes out. This is not going to happen. But let's say a new Meliodas comes out that scales with defense. Are you really going to use Hawk and Oslo as a defense buffer? Maybe. You're likely going to use, like, Nanashi. Still, with the... <laughs> <laughs> with the blue buff defenses, you're not even going to get basic stats from him. If it's unknown, it's even worse. You have Nanashi's 30% and you're going to compete with that. It's just, unless he gets a Holy Relic that also expands on this, it's just never going to be good. So the current moment, yeah. Highly unlikely that in the future this is going to change. It's still probably going to be completely unusable. But there it is. That's Hawk and Oslo. Moving on, these three characters are all linked together, pretty much. Because they're all goddesses. And so because of that... I'm actually going to talk about Liz first. I know. Weird. Because if I was to talk about Margaret, it wouldn't make any sense to place where she should be placed because she doesn't deserve to be placed where she's going to be placed. Liz is incredibly strong. Like, uncomfortably strong. She hits so hard. And then she has revive, and she has damage reduction if you have her 6-6. Six, six, and it makes me think that the next character that's going to come out is going to absolutely obliterate her. Genuinely. I think the next character coming out, whoever it is, whoever version of whatever character it is, is going to completely nullify buffs. It's going to... It, everything that this character does can't be... can easily, in my mind, in just one passive, be completely annihilated. But for the current moment, she's absolutely overpowered and she goes to the top here. And she completely carries these other two characters because genuinely, right, so... Base Margaret. Base Margaret and LR Margaret is not that much of an improvement. It genuinely is not. It's a little bit. The thing is that base Margaret is already decent. Like, Margaret was a unit very much ahead of its time. You know why? Because it was a unit that came out, it was terrible and unhype. So they made no money with the banner. What did they do? They buffed her before the banner left in the hopes that they would actually make money off the banner. Did they work? I don't actually remember. I don't, I don't recall checking the profits of the company that month. I didn't really care too much. But that's exactly what happened. And so she got buffed a lot. And she was ahead of the curve for a long time, actually. As a buffer, as a cleanser, bro, there's no unit quite like Margaret in the game. So for them to make her an LR, honestly a little out of left field because it was already a good character. LRs so far, had been useless characters. Lost Vein was a useless character. Green Astro was a useless character. That Red Liz was a useless character. But Margaret was technically not a useless character. So, really weird that she got an LR buff. Didn't change much. If it was before... If I made this list last week, I would have placed her in the same place as Margaret. The unit didn't change much. It didn't really help when it's supposed to help. But guess what? Liz carries her super hard, and now she is meta alongside Mael and Tristan. And is there someone I'm missing? There might be. There, there might be. In any case, carries super hard. Like you might be thinking, then I should also bump regular Margaret. Yeah, I, I guess. 
if you don't have LR Margaret, you can still just run goddesses and with base non LR Margaret just from having Liz. Liz just carries them so hard. But I would say I'm gonna I'm gonna keep right here. The minimal improvement will make it distinct enough. Genuinely, if you use your LR coins recently for LR Liz, I mean you can get LR Margaret very easily. They're pumping out you know fa uh, LR coins to the player base at a nice rate right now, giving the giving it to us on the new boss. Global's about to get a new boss two, two days from now. The sh the store for the new boss has LR coins. They're giving us in the on the mail. There's a lot of a lot more LR coins circulating around the game than you know even like few a few weeks ago. So if you don't have LR Margaret, you can just make it very easily and then start saving for the next LR. It's not that big of a deal. I wouldn't this time around. I wouldn't be like, oh my god, should they you know even wait for the next LR? The next LR is probably gonna come come out in like a month and a half, maybe. So like. Make make Margaret so that you can run the goddess team if you pull for Liz, and that'll be it. And then same thing for Elat. So Elat, I believe, is not very good. And then immediately as I put <laughs> as I put their medics here. The thing about Elat is that Jen like misclicked. The thing about Elat is that she has one purpose in PvP. Which is just be in the back and give basic stats. Like, she gives 15% basic stats. Bro, years ago, we got 20% basic stat buffers. Years. And you know what we got, you know, a few months ago? Was it a few? Months ago? Nanashi. 30% basic stat buffer. And then you come here with Elat as a 15%. But this is because Elat is really a knighthood boss unit so she they, they kind of doubled down on making elat a knighthood boss unit because of her relic that she already had but then they were like okay let's make her somewhat usable in pvp as well and give her this and then also the extra little bit of damage increase very little very little but some damage increase so even though technically i am putting her here bro I, I think Tristan is a better back unit for the whole tankiness variation. You can even use the Nashi as a back unit for goddesses if you want. If you don't have Tristan, if you don't end up pulling him from the banner, because he is in the same banner. If you didn't pull for Elat, I would, you know... I will say Tristan is a little bit better because he actually has a proper passive. But Elat is alright. She gets heavily carried by the fact that goddesses are hyper meta right now. I would say goddesses are the number one team in the game. I... You can argue with me if you want, but I don't think you, I don't think you're gonna win. <laughs> super strong, like Liz is just super strong, and then you have Liz. My always super strong as well. He just never got an opportunity to show how strong he is because Goddess is sucked. Goddess as a whole, as a category of characters, was so minuscule and dog shit that Mayo was never able to actually fully like show off how good he is. Because guess what? The other Liz that he was up with was this terrible thing. I even bumped her down because I hate her so much. <laughs> <laughs> in any case, the yeah, the goddess team I think is number one right now. Followed by Hell Team, probably. The thing about Hell Team is that they they get absolutely eviscerated by goddesses. Like absolutely eviscerated because of cleanse. Like hell was only being held together by the fact that no one had cleanse. No one had available easy to do cleanse. But guess yeah, guess what? Margaret is a thing again. So your debuffing sucks. I kind of wanted to put a few characters down as well. I really wanted to put down demons because, bro, you can. <laughs> you will struggle. If you run like a proper demon team, good luck winning against goddesses. But I think for the moment, I'm going to keep this just until the meta stabilizes. I think that uh, after December, we're going to have a better idea of a proper long lasting meta for a, a couple of months because. November and December are such turbulent times for the meta because they're dropping like really, really, really powerful characters back to back. I think I'm speaking very fast. Ooh. In any case, I think the way it is right now is decent. I did bump down some characters before the video, so I wouldn't forget. Like Estorosa, I did bump down Estorosa. I think Estorosa at the moment is unusable. For one, you, if you run him on, God, on Demons, which is his only team, you're going to lose. Like. Seriously, you're going to lose. You kind of need to run DK, uh, Chandler, and Melee. Like, you kind of have to. 
and encroachment doesn't work against goddesses. In, if you go against Hell, he just doesn't work. Like no, nothing, none of the teams that are being run right now, he really works against. He kind of has finally aged, I think. At an interesting time, he just got his relic and he aged. I think that they they knew. The devs are pretty smart, actually. I don't give them enough credit. They are very smart. But in any case, also bump down um, her, I forgot her name. And the <laughs> I, if you've been watching, you know, I'm just terrible with names. It's just, it, it's the dementia. In any case, PvE, I see no reason why I would put Liz in a high tier for PvE. As much as I just sucked her cock in PvP, the, you know, the thing is that the LR Liz exists. Like, LR Liz was a PvE-based character that came out recently, by the way. And she's just better in every way than the new festival in PvE. So... Uh, she hits hard. Like, she, she hits hard. And that's about it. But LR Liz is just better in every way. If you're running a hard activity, you're not gonna run Festival Liz. You're gonna run LR Liz... She is just simply better. And then for uh, Elath, she's a, a knighthood boss character, so I'll put her here. Knighthood boss is where it is. And then Margaret. Where is the other Margaret? Boom. They're the same. <laughs> they are the same character. They, they, they didn't change much. It didn't change much. So wherever the Margaret is... Margaret will stay. I'll be honest, the PvE list, it's it's progressively harder to make a, a good one because there's so many different PvE activities. If you're like, okay, but all, all right, the, the characters at the top of the list, a lot of them you can't even run on the brand new PvE activity, right? So why do the top of the list? And, and you're like, and I'm like, okay, that that's true, but like, I mean, nothing can really beat the activity on the highest level. And the one team that beat Bird used Mono. Where is Mono? Where is Blue Mono? Wherever Blue Mono is. But I can't put her at the top, because, like, bro, she, that's it. Like, that, that's all she's going for. And it might have been a fluke. Like, I, I can't really do that. So PvE is going to be really hard, especially because they're also are dropping a new game mode. They are dropping a brand new game mode for PvE coming up soon as well, so... PvE list might not be as coherent as the PvP one for the time being because of that. But, you know, it is what it is for that. In any case, PvP meta is not looking the worst right now. I mean, to be honest, I, do, I played quite a bit with Liz so far. I don't see that many Liz's around. Maybe in the next few days I'm going to end up seeing a little bit more. Uh, people are still running Hell a lot because they're probably saving for December Festival. And if you are skipping Liz for December Festival, I don't blame you. But if you do something for Liz, I also don't blame you. Good character, good banner, really good banner. And we don't know how good the December banner is going to be. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it.